Hi and welcome to another training session. Um, today we're going to take a look at Zoom and in particular how you can share files securely using Zoom. I've had a few questions about this and I'll show you a couple of tips and tricks here. Um, okay so to start off with if you're in Zoom um, and you're running a meeting, so you see here it says return to meeting, that's because I'm actually in a meeting at the moment. Um, what you've got is the option to share your screen with the other people on the call or in the meeting. Now within this area here you've got various different screens you've got open but you also have files. Now the thing that confuses people is here are all of my uh, online files share locations. So all of my cloud locations for storing files. And the worry that some people have is that when they go into one of these, for example the OneDrive, it now asks to connect to OneDrive. Um, once you do connect you get this dialog box coming up and the worry is that it says maintain access to data you've given Zoom OneDrive access to even when you're not currently using the app. Now, of course, generally speaking, what you don't want to do is share files with people forever. You just want to share the file or give them access to a copy of the file rather than letting them share your file in perpetuity. Um, okay, so what I'm going to do is show you a way of doing this instead. So rather than sharing files from here from the share window, the easier way I find of doing it is from the chat window. So if you go into your chat window, down at the bottom here you have the option to share a file to the chat. Now again you have all of these web locations but now you have an additional one which is your computer and if I go into my computer and go to my desktop and I've got an Excel file there, you'll notice that the Excel file now appears in the chat and as long as people have access to this chat, they can click on there and they'll get the option to download it. So this is giving them their copy of this file, which they can then play around with and edit, rather than a shared file, a share of my file. So I certainly prefer using this way for most of the files that I'm sharing. For example, if I'm sharing a PowerPoint presentation with people, I don't want them to be sharing my presentation and be able to make changes to my presentation for when I come to use it at a later date but I certainly want to give them access to this file so they've got their own copy of the presentation. So that would be the guide if you want them to have their own copy of a file share it from the chat however if you're working with colleagues and you do want to actually share a file then you can share screen and share the file location but bear in mind they will then have access to that file and you will only still have one copy of that file which will be shared between you and them. Okay I hope that's been useful and once more, thank you for listening.